Every day is Veterans Day for a QCA woman. She was a little girl who didn't have much of anything as a child in World War II England. So as an adult, she became determined to give back. Tonight, we take you inside Norma's kitchen. I went around to all the grocery stores. It's been a busy morning for Norma and Richard Temming. They are just back from another trip to the store, one of many this week, with lots and lots of food. But this food is not for them. You see, Norman knows what it's like to be without food, to be hungry. I grew up in England during the Second World War, and I was hungry an awful lot. Her father worked the second shift in a factory 12 to 14 hours a day. But low wages and strict rations made it hard for him to feed his three children. But he found a way each and every day to give them at least the bare necessities. A piece of bread and jam. If you had butter on it, you couldn't have jam. Or, if, you know, it was one or the other. Their so-called big meal came at lunch, just before Dad went off to work. It would be a broth with maybe like potatoes in, um, carrot. I mean, it, it wasn't what we call um, a soup or a stew. It was really just something warm to put in the stomach. And then at supper time, it was the same thing. It was a piece of bread. Maybe a piece of cheese if we were lucky. And soon evacuees poured in from London, sharing what little food there was. We had evacuees, a, a woman and her son lived with us for a while. They came from London when the bombing got really bad. The bombing would get closer. Destroying buildings all around her taking the lives of some of her neighbors and making the basics of life even harder to get. But it would be two other visitors that would change her life. American GIs bust into town for a little R&R. Short visits with local families to give them a taste of home. And they brought with them a taste that Norma had never had. They would, you know, bring some Spam or powdered milk or whatever they could, or a can of peaches. Including their first taste of peanut butter that lured her curious sister out of bed. She snuck out of bed when everyone was in bed and got the jar of peanut butter, and we were there lay laying under the covers, scooping our fingers in and eating the peanut butter, and then we put the lid back on and put it back, hoping nobody would notice. The little things that meant so much, like Christmas and wartime and the simple gifts. When we hung our stocking up, we could have an apple and a few pieces of candy and a shiny penny. She grew into a young woman who appreciated everything her life had to offer, but became more and more determined not to be hungry again. Up until just a few years ago, I would hoard food. I would buy cases of food, cases of green beans, cases of whatever, soups, because I'd, I'd been hungry and I wasn't gonna go hungry again. So on this day, she is hoarding again. But this time, it's not for her. I don't know how we're going to unload this. Well, we'll get them all in on the table. Oh, oh my God. Let me hard. get a big tray. This, to me, is like paying it forward. Inspired by the two Americans who gave small gifts of food to her family, she is reaching out to Lola and Sandy, who started the Quad City Veterans Outreach Center in honor of their father, who fought and was injured in World War II. So every day I come in and I say, Dad, this day is for you. And my sister and I work here all the time, and uh, we're very proud to be here. Giving out everything from services like legal help to haircuts to clothes, and yes, food. Lots of food. And on this day alone, two carloads from Norma alone. You touch them enough that they go out every day to do something, to give back. Oh, there is just no way to explain the feeling it is when Norma walked, pulled up here, her and her husband, with all the food and everything. It's just amazing. Including something Norma never got as a child, but is thrilled to give as an adult, a birthday cake. Oh. Remember the veteran last month that told us we wouldn't have had a cake for his grandchildren if it had been for you bringing them? Oh. That's wonderful. So you make me feel good. For all that they have done for us, and then they come back and they're having a hard time and they're going hungry. No, that's not going to work with me. Determined now to keep hoarding, keep collecting, keep charming QCA shopkeepers into making donations. Can't you share just a little bit? I'll say to them. <laughs> I just need a little bit. If I get a little bit from everybody, you know, that makes a lot. 
Just like those American GIs who gave her a little, now she's giving back a lot. They gave what they could. They shared with us what they could at the time. So it, it makes me feel good that maybe they don't feel hungry like I did. Thanks to Kevin Core for shooting and editing this piece. And Norma made me promise to give shout outs to Adam with Fairway and Brian from High V, her go to bread guy, for all the support they've given her. And to find more about the Quad City Veterans Outreach Center, you can find them on West 35th Street in Davenport.